Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Masika Ifuru. Today I wanted to share my foundation routine and make it beginner friendly to help anyone who's a beginner. If you're new to my channel and you're new to makeup, this video is for you. So without further ado, I'm gonna get right into it. What you're gonna need is either a foundation brush or a beauty blender. You could use either of these for applying your foundation a beauty blender is just like a sponge you're gonna need a primer a concealer your foundation of course and a setting powder of your choice with a setting spray blush and bronzer is optional that's more for contouring and that type of stuff but this is a beginner friendly video so i am gonna make this as easy as possible first step of makeup you must always start with a clean face don't ever apply makeup to dirty skin as it's not gonna go on as seamless as if it was clean skin and i'm gonna start with priming for and primer is the base of your makeup for primer i'm using my ysl instant matte primer and me personally, I am oily skin, so I most of the time would use a matte base to control my oils. You would always have to find out your skin type if you get oily or if your skin is dry. I feel like that helps making a decision on which is the best foundation for you and primer and that type of stuff because if you're oily like me i personally love using matte products my no matter what it is it always turns dewy <laughs> at the end of the day i use matte products for that reason it gives me a longer wear with my oils i do use dewy products as well but that's if i am going for like a quick type of look then yeah but this look that I'm going for today, I want it to be something that's long lasting, something that you can wear to go to work. I mean, minus my eyeshadow. <laughs> this is a, um, a everyday look and that's why I didn't film the eyeshadow part because I wanted this to be beginner friendly. Next step, because I have oily skin, I always set my primer. And for setting spray today, I'm using the Benefit Professional Super Setter Spray. This just helps with a longer wear of my foundation and because I am oily skin, that's my reason why I personally set my primer. Next step is foundation. And for foundation, you choose the foundation that's best for your skin type. If you have oily skin, I would suggest a matte or natural finish foundation. If you are dry skin, I feel like you can use more radiant foundation would be really, really great for you. And today I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer Long Wear foundation and this one was recreated this is a uh, really as you see really really watery consistency however this one does give a magnificent coverage that's why i chose this one today it's really easy to work with You just put it all over and never forget about your neck ladies, especially if you're wearing your neck out Always make sure that you put foundation on your neck as well as your face as it does connect the makeup look more And I went a little light here. I'm gonna probably go for another coat And this blends out really really easily that's why i feel like this is an amazing option for everyday looks see how pretty that looks i'm trying to achieve a full coverage so i'm gonna go for one more
I never ever ever forget about your neck. <laughs> I can't stress that enough. The next step I'm gonna use concealer and I'm using the Clinique even better all over concealer and eraser and this does give a full coverage to this concealer if you do have dark on the eyes or if you do have like lines or any type of discoloration you want to cover it it's really easy with concealers I usually put a few dots under the eye like so And then I would also go down the nose with another three dots. And I put two dots right here. <laughs> and two on my chin. One on this side and one on this side. And I'll do one here and one here. <laughs> okay, so we just put it to spot correct. That's what I usually use concealer for. And also to brighten up certain areas. And you always blend in a circle. I like to use my, the same brush that I use for foundation, for concealer as well. I know some people like to use maybe a beauty blender to blend out the concealer, but like I said, I prefer to use the same foundation brush as I feel like it brings the color of everything together more than if I was to use two separate, um, items to do the application but it's just my way how i do mine and it's not any wrong or right way to make up i always say the only right or wrong thing with makeup is finding your right shade i feel that's the only thing you can go right or wrong with anything else it's really your choice i mean we all have different shapes of faces we all have different types of skin so we all do things different. We use different products for that reason. But I still wanted to share mine with someone to hopefully help someone if you're new at makeup. And I also wanna do like a giveaway for if you're new at makeup, like I want to give you some makeup, like please comment below. Let me know your shade. If you're the same shade as me, I have so much foundation that I would like to share with some of you ladies. If you're unable to purchase it, or if you just like to have some more makeup, I mean, comment below and just let me know your shade, the type of skin you have. I mean, what type of foundation you use. Do you have foundation? What's your favorite? Is it new to you? And I'll be just choosing winners at random. I'm not gonna um end this giveaway. This giveaway is not ending at all. It never ends. As I do have so much product and I will, I love to share. And I can't use everything for myself. So for that reason, I wanted to use this opportunity to hopefully help someone or share with someone that's hopefully the same shade as I am, that's the same type of skin texture, oily skin. I mean, if you are dry or combination, I'm sure I have products for that as well. But if you are my shade, definitely comment. And let me know how I can help you out and I'll definitely make it happen for you. I am gonna set my foundation and concealer down and for setting powder, I'm using my Becca Set and Refresh powder in the shade Golden. And this is a really, really nice setting powder. I personally love this one for my oily skin. It does control my oils and really, really keep my foundation on my face all day it does have a cooling sensation and you can use either a pad or you can use a beauty blender you can use a brush to set your makeup the choice is really yours me personally I usually use a puff to do my setting with and you just go under the eyes I don't bake or anything like that I do have oily skin but I still don't bake 
you know I just press the I press the sand powder into the skin like so really really nice and you see how easily this side set down opposed to this side that's still doing and like I say I always set my makeup down to a matte finish If you do want more of a flawless coverage, which I usually do, I reach for my Bite Beauty Change Maker Finishing Powder. I have this one in my skin tone, and I would use my same setting sponge, my same setting pad, and just go over my entire face with this one, just for more of an airbrush finish as finishing powders do give more of a nice airbrush look and that's why i personally use a finishing powder if i'm running out on a normal day sometimes i wouldn't reach for the finishing powder but if i was trying to have my makeup last longer i would absolutely go for this finishing powder i also use this finishing powder like for blotting when my foundation gets oily I also reach for this finishing powder. I feel like finishing powders are perfect for blotting as well. It's just finishing up as they are really, really light. Doesn't make your makeup heavy in any way. Like I honestly still don't feel like I have anything on my face. That's why this is an everyday look. It's very comfortable. I'm gonna add the highlighter with my fingers. I like using my fingers to do highlighter. So I'm going to start right on my cheekbone here and just go a little bit up like so. And it's all clean, it doesn't have tallic. A little bit on the nose bridge like so just for more definition of the nose she looks so pretty so beautiful I said you'd set everything with your setting spray and today I'm using my benefit professional super setter spray you set everything <laughs> even your neck don't ever forget about your neck And I like to drench my face in my setting spray because it soaks up the excess powder that's on my skin and it helps melt all of the products together in one and bring it together. But that's why it's good to have a setting spray with a very, very fine mist that's not going to disturb your foundations as the wrong setting spray can definitely disturb your foundation. But this one is really, really tiny and mist. So I'm able to drench my face. Everything applied really, really beautiful here. I did my mascara off camera. I used the Lancome Mascara Primer and then i use the benefit bad gal bang mascara to go over the top and oh where is it for my eyeliner at the top i use this the flick stick i'm gonna link all of the products that i use in the bottom in the description box and i really hope this video was really easy and helpful to someone if there's any makeup products that I could possibly help you with do comment below as I am gonna be giving away a lot of my makeup here on my channel and I rather give it to you ladies my subscribers and my supporters I mean the giveaway never ends as I always review new products and some of them I just stick to the side after I review them and I'd rather give it away instead of throw it away so be sure to comment below lots of winners would, would be chosen at random i do look forward to reading your comments and like i said i really hope this very quick foundation routine was helpful to someone as i don't think i did one for this year yet so i just wanted to 
make a new one and share with you ladies and like I said share some of my makeup products and help anyone I would love to do that so definitely comment below and let me know what's your favorite makeup products if you don't use complexion products and you use lipstick or you use different type of stuff like that do comment below and I'll absolutely send it to you if I have it and like I said, I really hope this was helpful to someone. If there's anything you didn't understand about this video, be sure to leave me a question in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to respond. If you're new here, be sure to click my picture and subscribe to my channel as I do look forward to bringing you more videos like these. Thank you so much for watching.